never had any friends. Everyone at school called her a weirdo, Cass. Look at them making fun <laughs> of her. What a loser! And they kept away from her, too. At the prom, Karen felt bad. Did oh, she forget Karen. deodorant? I did that. And went to the bathroom. At prom? Uh, well, I just would forget deodorant on regular oh, days. I still do sometimes. that. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, since you have to hang out with me sometimes. <laughs> hey, you never smell bad around me. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. Someone had doinked her in the head from behind at the bathroom. Yikes. Okay, she didn't deserve that. They like, interviewed on. the suspects. I know. Why are they so mean? I'm Harry. Who's Karen? I don't even know who she is. I only know people that uh, play instruments. I'm a band geek. No, you're a bully, Harry. I was dancing with my girlfriend, okay? I'm not allowed to talk to other girls. I'm Anna, and we've been friends since childhood. But I didn't see her leaving. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm Helen. I spent the entire party by the bar. <laughs> That's where I like to hang out. Who is lying? Cass, I figured out. I cracked the code. Who? She didn't have any friends. <gasps> oh, so the redhead in the green shirt is a liar. Yeah, she doinked her. Oh. I don't know why, but she did it. Why? We need to know the motive. <laughs> Thanks, Riddles. Thank you, Riddles. Jean was on a secret mission to save the world. Go, Jean. You're my hero. During her mission, the supervillain, Mr. Bad Guy, trapped her. He didn't have too long to think of a name. <laughs> yeah. She had to choose one of three doors to escape or be trapped forever. Behind door number one, we have a hungry lion. Rawr. Behind door number two, we have a pit bull. Woof. He's wearing a muzzle, though. And behind door number three, we have poisonous scorpions. Ooh. Which door should Jean? Shoes. I think this is so obvious. <laughs> yeah, obviously the dog with the muzzle, no matter yeah. how mean he is. What's he gonna Although, do? Well, he could body slam you. That dog looks like he's like a good 180 pounds. But then just pet him. I That's like true. the body slam. Calm down, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Aw. He has a muzzle on. We a okay. Gene managed to escape, but Mr. Bad Guy was gone. Jean decided to ask her Uncle Stanley for help. Uncle Stanley was quite popular. Everyone likes me. <laughs> Everyone knew that he had doinked hundreds of people. <laughs> what? what? Uncle Stanley? They even knew how he did it, but nobody tried to stop him. He'd never been to jail and lived in his city with no problems. He turned so evil out of nowhere. Why didn't anyone try to arrest Stanley? That's a really good question. Is he Mr. Bad Guy? Even no. if he was, why would everybody like Mr bad guy and not want him to be arrested. Right? Maybe a... because he won novel awards because he's got a typewriter and a quill. Oh. <laughs> Nobody dares to arrest him. He was a famous author, so people thought that it was fiction. Oh, he was a writer and he doinked people in his books. Oh. Oh. One day, Jack's friend took him to a party. Party time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The party yeah. was for mm -hmm. everybody. Hey, mm -hmm. inclusive. Humans and weird creatures. Oh. Jack was hoping to find a girlfriend. Yeah, hopefully she's human and not Snuffleupagus. Well, there were a lot of girls at the party. Ooh! Jack liked four girls. Four? four. Can't you narrow it down? He's a bit of a player. He wanted to talk to one of them, though. You know, he wants to settle down, have some kids. Who should Aww. he choose? Ooh, well, one girl has, uh, she's been bitten. I don't okay, think she's yeah, one gonna girl's be human been bitten. much more. One girl has a zombie hand, the girl on oh. the left. Oh, I didn't even see the zombie hand. Oh, oh, and the fourth girl is literally levitating, which honestly he should go for her. What's cooler than a girl that's floating? I was gonna say she wears sunglasses inside at night. I don't really trust that. <laughs> First girl's a zombie. We don't want to have our Mute. brains eaten. I -uh. like my brains. Not things. tonight. The second girl has a vampire bites on her neck, which means you're next. She'll turn to a vampire any minute. I mean, she'll probably I want to be a vampire so bad. I would totally <laughs> date her. The fourth girl is a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Jack talked to the third girl, Jill, because she's a human. Yeah, she's nice. She's a famous blogger. Oh, oh. Ooh, jackpot. They hit it off and started dating. Mm, you want a piece of cake, sweetie? Yes, sweetie. One of their dates was a camping picnic. Jack and Jill arrived at the campsite. It was perfect. Perfect. They had to put up a tent. Oh, they're so in love, Cass. Oh, she must I really love him when she's going camping. Yeah, you don't know, really. The forest? Bear? The field? I saw that too. <laughs> Or the lake, or a zombie. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the place without the bear or the zombie. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, nice. the place with a block of wood. That's all you have to worry about there. Jill took a lot of good photos and videos. Ching, 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 ching. She's looking great. She was so I'm happy. a blogger. When they got back, Jill decided to throw a party. Ooh, she's really got that lifestyle. Yeah, time to introduce her boyfriend to her friends. Hope they like him. Party for friends, what could go wrong? 
The day of the party arrived and so did a heat wave. That's a good thing for a party day. I oh. know. Oh, someone smashed Jack on the head during the party. Cass, why? They just started dating. This is a crazy jealous fan. Her friends are not nice. Right? But don't worry, he's unconscious, he's okay. He's, he's alive, we right? need that. That's what we need. There was a wet flap in Jack's head. <laughs> a flap, huh? <laughs> the detective questioned only one person, Jill's ex-boyfriend. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay. <laughs> the guy Jill tells you not to worry about. <laughs> We were hanging out by the pool. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was swimming, having fun. I saw him holding that flap, couldn't stand it. <laughs> Suddenly, Jack disappeared. He was gone for about an hour. I found him with this flap in his hand. I called the police. <laughs> Who holds flaps? He must have fought back and ripped at the attacker's swimsuit. So maybe that is where the flap came from. We should examine all the swimsuits. I don't think so. I've already found the culprit. What does he mean? What's up with this flap? This what? is the mystery flap. I just want to know more about the flap. I don't even care too much what happened to Jack at this point. <laughs> yeah. What is a flap? I just want to know what this flap is made out of. Like, yeah. what language does this flap speak? Where what does the flap from? taste like? What does it want? Yes. Yeah, what is, is it, what's it doing here? Did we see any ripped swimsuits oh. prior to this? He was weirdly, like, not wearing a shirt. That's true, but the flap is green. I don't know where this flap could have come from. Look at this party. Yeah, the flap is wet. Huh. Okay, I've cheated enough. I don't know. Yeah, th this is the mystery of the flap. If Jack was gone for an hour, the flap should be dry by now. Oh, it's a heat wave. It was planted by the ex-boyfriend. He was taken in for questioning, Cass. Where did he get the flap? That's what I want to know. Jack was taken to the bedroom to rest. He's going to be okay, Cass. Jill was by his side the whole time. And it oh, only brought them girlfriend. closer. Soon she got sleepy, though. So she went to another room to take a nap. No, no don't, don't leave him. Don't leave him. She left her laptop in Jack's room. Jack wasn't very happy about all this. Of course not. Oh, no. He's going to check her social blade. But, like, why is your ex-boyfriend at your party anyways? Yeah. No, that's weird. Kind of inappropriate. Appropriate. Very inappropriate, Isn't it? especially like, if he's still not over it. He decided to look on Jill's laptop. Ooh, Ooh he's snooping. snooping. He wanted info. How long ago did she break up with her ex? Good question. Jill was a famous blogger, remember? So of course her laptop was locked. She didn't want anyone snooping around her photos and videos. Jack didn't know the password. Whoa, she got the at just Jill? Good for her. Yeah, he clicked forgot password and got this prompt. <laughs> A riddle! <laughs> We've been training for this. Weak I am, but strong I am too. No powers I have, but powerful I am. What am I? What? A contradiction? That's what you are. <laughs> An electric current, the sun on a cloudy day. <laughs> Time is ticking. I think we should go with that one. Electric current, I like that one. Feelings. Oh, feelings. feelings. Oh my goodness. Jack was in. Time to snoop. Let's get our faces in there. Imagine snooping on your new girlfriend the first day you guys are dating. Yeah, you're gonna just wanna break up if you don't trust her that much. Ooh, oh, they're having a convo. Hey, you wanna hang tonight? Why are you ignoring me, huh? We need to break up. No, you can't do this to me, Jill. Jill. Her ex took it really badly. He started stalking her online. Since she was a blogger, it was quite simple. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, he could see all her photos online. Oh, she looks good in that one. The next morning, Jack went to the jewelry store. Jill was still asleep. He decided that if Jill solved his riddle, he would propose to her. What? Already? Okay, this guy's a little crazy. Yeah. Summer holidays are here. Yeah. Ah. Two friends got together to travel around the world. They rented a boat and set off. Oh, well, they're adventurous. I like this. Buddies. Guys have been sailing for a week. Suddenly oh. a storm kicked up. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh that's no. My worst fear. This is I so can't. scary. And their boat capsized. Are you guys still friends now? But there, there are three boats around them. Don't worry, Cass. We got this. They might be able to escape on one of them, but they don't know where the right direction is. Hmm. There's a chest with gold and a python on one. Ooh. A clever parrot. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> or a smuggler. Oh. Okay, so let's, let's go through our options here. We got the clever parrot. I mean, he's uh -huh. just a parrot, no matter how clever he is, right? What you could do is you could ask the parrot to ask the smuggler if he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to take my chances with the python. Me neither. Better poor than dead. Imagine if you throw the python in the water and it turns out it can swim and it's just like angry. 
coming Ooh, through your boat. Oh, and it's in the Ooh. water. There's nothing scarier than a water snake, right? Right. I can't. Yeah. It's too scary. Okay, so we're, we're talking to the parrot, asking him to help us out? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Oh, oh! What does a smuggler want more than anything? The gold. <gasps> oh! So we can go there and be like, hey, we know where the gold is, and then push him into the python, and Let's then take, take his boat. boat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but also maybe rescue the parrot while we're at it. Aw, <laughs> always thinking about everybody involved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we got a plan here. Python isn't dangerous. It's not. I did not know that. I didn't know that either. They can give the gold to the smuggler and he'll save them in exchange oh. for the gold. Well, hey, we were kind of right there. We were kind of right. But the smuggler had other plans. No! He had already made a deal with a local tribe. No. No. <laughs> He brought them to an island. The friends were locked in a big cage. Oh no. Cats oh, were trapped. No. Not all the tribe was evil though. Hey, they're nice, maybe. One of the tribe members wanted to help. He needed to steal the cage key from the tribe chief. He's putting his neck on the line. Yeah. The helpful local snuck ding, into ding, the ding, hut ding, to ding, steal ding, the key. Ding, ding, ding. Hopefully he's a heavy sleeper. Chief oh. had a lot of keys, though, to confuse you. Which key will open the cage? Uh, well, the one that looks exactly like it. Yeah, the one in the middle. Yeah, yeah. the one in the middle. Yeah, why not? No. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Uh, we failed. <laughs> okay. Oh, we would have been captured. You're on a famous TV show for money. Ooh, how much? Your last task is to put your hand in one of three tanks. Oh. There's gold bars in each of them. And you're allowed to get them if you can. The stakes are high, Cass. Yeah, what's the catch? Oh. Boiling water. Yikes. Acid that will burn your flesh. Yikes. Or venomous scorpions. Ugh. Which tank would you put your hand in? So each one seems like it has more and more money. Azzy, I have a question. Yes. If you put your hand in boiling water, you know how when you like put meat in boiling water, it cooks? Like, yeah. will your hand just cook and then stay cooked forever? I don't know. I think it would be like a third degree burn or something. Oh, and then it would heal because you're alive. I think. I'm pretty sure we should wait for the boiling water to cool down and then do it. And yeah, not get, definitely. And not get too greedy and just go for the one gold bar. It's still a lot of money. There's no point in risking your life. That's true, but can't you just like grab the scorpions by the tails and just throw them out? I don't know how to properly do that. I'm not trained in scorpion grabbing. <laughs> That's true. I didn't go to school for that. But hey, it's a game show, so they probably have the antidote in the back room. Otherwise, they wouldn't do this. Right? But it is seven second riddles and they can be savages. There's That's true. I don't okay, think there's fine. an antidote. They never said anything about being able to pour anything into anything. What if we poured the boiling water into the scorpion tank, killed the scorpions <gasps> with the boiling water, waited for it to cool down and then took all the money? Oh, that is so smart. You get four <laughs> gold bars. Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> the show is going to get complaints about scorpion cruelty, but we're going to get four gold bars. Yeah. Just wait until the water cools off. Usually these shows have a time limit though, but I'll take it. Okay, yeah. John Winchester was a very wealthy man. That's a wealthy man's name. One day he was enjoying skiing in the Alps. Snowboarding. Was he snowboarding? Oh my God, he is snowboarding. He got absolutely frozen. Ew, the snot coming out of his nose. Yeah, so that's gross. disgusting. In the evening, John came down with the flu. Oh. John Winchester, are you okay? He called three best doctors in the Alps. I guess he doesn't need me to worry about him. As John was really rich and influential, many people wanted to join <gasps> him. No, why'd they gotta be so mean? That's why his bodyguards had to search them through. It turned out that one of the doctors was a hitman. Oh. Wow, I was not expecting that. Who is it? I mean, what type of doctor needs an ax? Wait, there's an ax and oh my goodness, I didn't even see the ax. Right? I was like, what? That doesn't sound right. I wouldn't imagine a hitman would want to use an ax, but here we are. That's kind of scary. I mean, you could just use a needle and not get caught, which is terrifying. Deanna came to her fur shop early in the morning. Fur shop? Yeah. It. And found out that the most expensive fur coat had been stolen. She called the police. Dring, 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 dring. And the detective arrived at the shop and questioned Deanna. I closed the shop at 10 p.m. and went home. The fur coat was right here. The detective identified three suspects. How? I have so many questions today. I'm like, how? Oh. And visited their houses. Me, I'm the guard. I was on duty last night. Perhaps the thief snuck into the shop. Perhaps. <laughs> Even though I was on guard, I, uh, when I was on another floor, so it couldn't have been me. They make me guard the whole mall. Hi, I'm the ice cream seller. I closed my shop at 8 p.m. and went home right after that. 
<laughs> I'm the cleaning lady. I have a severe allergy to fur. I can't even enter this shop. Allergic to fur, but you have pets? Shh, sh be quiet. You're gonna give me away. <laughs> At first I thought it was the ice cream seller because it looked like she had a, a coat up there, but... Yeah, it did. Could be fun. But yeah, no, the you cleaning know? lady definitely has a cat. She has a cat. And She's cat a liar. Food. And a thief! That was so much fun! Oh, Azzy, it's always a joy and a thrill. I'm not done. I want to do more with you and your channel. All right, let's go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other.